When someone tells you that you can pretty easily make a full-time income selling covered calls, it seems pretty hard to believe because you'd think that if something like that were possible, you would have heard about it by now. And why wouldn't everyone be doing it? Well, I've found that there are actually quite a few things preventing people from using covered calls or even finding out about them in the first place. So in this video, we're gonna talk about that. Let's get into it. My name is Charlie, and on this channel, I make videos about building wealth and achieving financial freedom so that you can free up your time to focus on the things that you truly care about. So for those of you who've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of covered call writing. In fact, it's the primary stock market strategy that I use, and I've actually been living off my covered call income as my main source of income for going on about a year and a half now. So once I discovered the strategy a few years ago and saw how powerful it was, my first question was, why doesn't everyone do this? And whenever I would tell people about what I was doing, they would think the same thing. So I actually brought that question up in the very first video on this channel, and at the time I had a few ideas, but but now after posting nearly 30 more videos and seeing comments from both covered call writers and skeptics alike, I have a much better idea. So if you have that same question or you're just not sold on covered calls in general, then you'll definitely want to watch this video. Now the people that don't sell covered calls basically fall into two categories. They either don't know that covered calls exist, so these may be people who don't invest at all, or if they do, they're mostly just passive investors or they pay someone else to handle their money. Then the second category is people who are aware of covered calls and have maybe even tried them out themselves, but still choose not to use the strategy. So if you're watching this video and you aren't already selling covered calls, you're most likely in the second category. So I'll leave some timestamps in the description below in case you want to skip around the video. But for the rest of you, we'll start by talking about the group of people that aren't aware that covered calls even exist. Because again, you might think that if there's this amazing strategy out there with relatively low risk and high reward, then everyone would already know about it and be using it. But that's just not the case. In fact, the majority of people don't even invest significantly on their own, let alone use more advanced strategies like covered call writing. And I think most of that just comes down to a lack of financial education. But for the most part, it's not those people's faults because really if you don't grow up in a wealthy family, the only way to get a proper financial education is to seek it out for yourself. And unfortunately, there are a lot of factors that prevent the average person from doing that, or at least from doing it successfully. As a prime example, even our school system doesn't teach us how to manage our own money because the school system is really just designed to teach us how to be workers and not how to become individually wealthy. And aside from the school system, basically every other powerful institution has an incentive not to teach you about these types of things. So you've probably noticed that the stock market can seem very intimidating from the outside. And if you watch financial media outlets like CNBC or Yahoo Finance, they seem to go out of their way to overcomplicate things or even misinform people in a lot of cases. And this is just my opinion, but I actually think it's framed like that intentionally because the people who control those types of programs have an incentive to prevent you from taking control of your own money. And what I mean by that is that banks, mutual funds, hedge funds, financial advisors, and so on, they don't want you to know about the fact that it's actually very easy to manage your own money. They make their money off the fact that the average person isn't educated about money and so they hope that you'll pay them to handle it for you. Which is why if you were to ask a financial advisor about covered call writing, they'll probably tell you that you're limiting your upside or that it requires a lot of knowledge about the market and blah blah blah. And sure, if the strategy isn't applied properly, it may not be ideal, but in the large majority of cases, and really just if you know what you're doing at all, you'll do far better selling covered calls when compared to not selling covered calls. Which is the great thing about it. It's a simple strategy, so you don't need to be a stock market expert to make it work. You just need to know how to pick decent stocks with solid fundamentals and how to determine which calls to sell, and that's really all there is to it. So anyways, obviously the whole sort of personal finance system is very problematic, and like most things, it really just helps the rich get richer, while the poor and middle class stay where they are, but that's a whole other topic for a different day. The point is that even though something is objectively a smart financial decision to make, it doesn't mean that the general public will find out about it and be able to utilize it. But there are plenty of people who start investing one way or another and have maybe even heard of covered calls, but they still don't use the strategy. So what about them? Well, I'd like to say that it's just because they haven't seen the strategy applied properly and so they don't realize how powerful it can actually be. And for some people that's definitely the case, but based on a lot of the comments I've seen on my videos, plenty of people still aren't convinced. So let's dive a little deeper. And the biggest thing I see is that people are overly optimistic about how quickly their stocks will actually rise. So they're worried about limiting their upside or getting their shares called away from them. But as you know, if you've seen most of the videos on my channel, that's not something you should really be worried about. 
It's very rare that a stock will skyrocket within a given week or two, especially the established blue chip stocks that I like to trade. So the trade off of giving up some of that potential upside in exchange for a premium is well worth it. I can always tell that the people who say things like this haven't tried covered call writing for any extended period of time because if they had, they know that in the long term, it's just not possible to outperform the returns of a covered call writer by buying and holding stocks alone. If you bring in even a 2% return per month from covered call premiums, which is very easy to do, that's already about a 27% return per year, assuming you reinvest those profits. And that's before you even account for capital gains. So you could see overall returns upwards of four or five or even 6% per month if you're good at picking the right stocks. Which leads me to my next point, which is that covered call writing is not a get rich quick strategy. So for those that understand compound interest, four or 5% returns per month are absolutely incredible, but it does take time to really see the impact of those returns. So if you're starting with say a $5,000 portfolio or smaller, it can feel pretty slow at first. 2% of $5,000 would be $100. And well, I don't know anyone who wouldn't like to have an extra $100 per month, some people may see that and get discouraged because that amount of money isn't gonna make them rich anytime soon. And when you see other people doubling their money within a week on stocks like GameStop and AMC, it can be tempting to just give up on covered calls and switch over to using a riskier strategy. But that's not how you build wealth over time. You really do have to be patient and come into it with realistic expectations so that you don't fall into that trap. And the reality is that if you wanna truly build wealth, you also have to keep adding to your investments, especially at the beginning of the process. You can't just come in with $5,000 and expect to turn that into a million. You need to continually deposit money into your brokerage account, which usually means living below your means so that you can increase your savings rate, or even working to get a higher paying job so that you can afford to save some more money. So like pretty much everything worth doing, it does require consistency, dedication, and sacrifice. And I also wanna point out that as humans, just because we know something is good for us, doesn't mean that we'll do it. For example, we all know that eating healthy and exercising is good for us, yet it's extremely common to see someone start a new diet and then give up after a few weeks because they're not seeing the results they were hoping for. But the reality is that they were never going to see results after just a few weeks. These types of things require you to repeat the same actions over and over again over a long period of time before those results start compounding and becoming noticeable. And the same concept applies with covered call writing, so it may be slow or even boring at first, but in the long term, it's well worth it. And so again, I think that sort of expectation for instant results or instant gratification is another big reason why many people don't stick with covered call writing. And if you are just getting into covered call writing yourself and wanna see how I apply the strategy, be sure to check out my full tutorial in the bottom right corner of the screen. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you all in that next video.